Hi Aries, welcome to your secret confessions reading. This is for the time period of now or when you're called to view this video. Welcome, my name is Michelle and this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Aries, immediately the Knight of Pentacles wanted to, to drop out. So some of you might have a strong earth in your chart or you could be dealing with an earth sign. This reading can be reversed, so if you're cross-watching, this may resonate as an Aries that you're dealing with. It is a general reading, so only take what uh, you connect with and leave the rest. And if this is not your reading today, Aries, feel free to check out your other sign placements here on the channel for messages that may be there for you. So Aries, let's see. This is a secret confession from a person that is uh, around you in your energetic field either physically or energetically so it can be someone that is physically around you or someone who's thinking about you or you could be thinking about them so let's see secret confession from your person of interest here aries oh you know i'm going to take those they came out in the uh in the face up so i'm going to uh, i'm going to get those cards in a moment let us take a look though at the secret confession from this person Aries. Now this can be um, a lover of course, potential lover, friend, family member, anyone really that's that's uh, that's around you. So Aries, secret confession for Aries. What does Aries need to hear? Secret confession from Aries, person of interest. Wow, that is the first time on my channel that three cards have popped out. I'm going to take them all. Now, it could mean that there are three people involved, of course, in this, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, it says, I don't know how to love you in the way that you need. I'm letting you go so that you can find and have the love that you deserve. I never meant to hurt you or lead you on. I couldn't rise up to be my best self for you, and I'm not ready to give what you need. The next one but you're on my mind all of the time they do care about you they consider you very special they don't want you to think that they don't care about you Aries now we also have I don't really know what I want every day I wake up I want to do different things I take to take on the world in a different way I change my mind all the time and I know I'm inconsistent you can't really rely on me because I can't even rely on myself boy this person's all over the place which stands to reason because we've got this nine of swords <coughs> so yeah this person is very inconsistent you know on one hand I get that this person really does want to connect with you Aries they do but then they stop themselves they limit themselves it could be for some of you and don't take this if it's not resonating with you but for some of you Aries out there this person might have been attached or may have been attached to an ex they may have even been married or in a long-term partnership that won't be for all of you but I am getting that strongly coming through with this energy of three this bothers them it bothers them because I do feel that they care about you deeply and they want that they want the best for you uh, Aries is what I'm getting now they're throwing themselves into work here to forget you I see them at their desk and I get them I get them on their computer they're doing work but they're trying not to go over to the social media websites to, to, to look at pictures of you uh, to see if you're online to see if, if what you're doing so they're very distracted with this work but they're, they're desperately trying to maintain focus on their work so that they're not thinking about you and what you're doing but it doesn't seem to be working <coughs> Aries now yeah temperance in reverse this person you've affected them uh, down to their very core I do feel that this person although they're saying they care for you I feel it's more than that I feel that um, how they're feeling is really a symbol of just how much they care it's it's very much a, a spiritual uh, connection 
more than a physical one this person you may not have even been physical with ever before but the connection is one that is on a higher plane a higher level I do feel that there is this is someone that you may have known for quite some time but may not have ever really been with uh, physically yeah there's the look this person I feel it, it may be married uh, unfortunately I get that that might be the issue for a lot of you is that this person knows that you deserve love they care about you deeply they want you to have love and they wish they wish that they could be the person that could give you that what you need but unfortunately I feel that this person is is someone who well okay I'm getting this <clears throat> if they could they would but but their hands are tired they feel they, they feel powerless in the situation and they feel tied to another situation and that's why they can't come forward and give you what you need Aries now as I said this can be reversed <clears throat> if you're cross watching Tower, I guess I, I do feel I do feel that this is a strong connection, one that has the power to transform lives. And why this person is holding back is because they don't want to hurt anyone. They don't want to hurt you. They don't want to hurt a person that they're possibly with. Uh, if this person has children that will be affected by this situation, they don't want to hurt the children. Um, yeah th this person is is someone who feels like they need to be accountable for the change that they make in their life and, and they feel that it's if they make any change that change is not only going to affect them but it's going to have a a flow on effect to others and then that's what is bothering this person yeah they are holding back uh, i feel that for a lot of you this person is married is in another connection it is a, a stable partnership something where finances are tied up and i get a strong energy that this person is protecting that partnership but cares for you deeply at the same time aries now Hermit in reverse is the challenge. Uh, I do feel that this person is ignoring you. Uh, they're in solitude. I get them working in isolation. I get them not talking to anyone about the situation, keeping it uh, close to their chest, keeping it secret. They do value the connection that they have with you, Aries. That's the thing. But they value what they have already uh, I get a nest egg a build-up of uh, finances uh, inheritance whatever they've managed to build in their lives financially I feel that they're holding on tight to that but they also want to hold on to you as well because they, they like how you make them feel yeah the knight of cups in reverse and the hangman in reverse this person is holding back they would if they could i feel if they could come forward and and meet with you and, and be with you they would but it, it seems like this person is uh, fantasizing dreaming about one day that this could happen they're actually this goes deeper than you think Aries because although on the surface this person is saying that they uh, they apologize they don't know how to love you in the way that you need uh, they're ignoring you uh, letting you go so that you can find uh, the love that you deserve uh, they don't want to hurt you they don't want to lead you on they don't feel ready for this connection uh, they they wish that they could be this is the wishing and hoping card but they're gonna stay uh, they're gonna stay married they're gonna stay with that situation um, they're gonna be content with that is what my spirit guide is saying but they're always in the back of their mind they're going to be thinking about you 
and, and holding on to the possibility of what if, uh, of what could be. Uh, let's get one final message from this person, Aries. Message for Aries, please, from their person of interest. This person could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's see. The cards are very sticky here, guys. So let me just get another shuffle. What does this? What does Aries need to know about this person, Spirit? What does Aries need to know? Okay. Yeah, there, there is a selfishness about this person. I'm picking up a selfishness. Mm. Uh, they they want to they want to stay with their partner, but they they also like to have you there as well. But they they know it's not fair. They know they shouldn't lead you on. Yeah, I think this person is staying with someone because of the finances, guys. Because of um, it's what's expected of them. Uh, it feels like uh, an inheritance as well. Uh, I get grandmother, grandfather energy. Uh, this person may be becoming a, a grandparent soon if they're not already. Yeah, if they could have it all and, and if they could have you without you expecting anything from them, I think, I think, well, they're, they're you know they might they might they might actually um, go down that road of, of like having their cake and eat it too but but Aries I don't know if that's something that you would be up for I would say be a bit careful if this person is, is around you because um, they're certainly not available for a long-term partnership that's already taken care of in this person's life they've got that so if you're looking for stability and security this is not your person uh, but if you're okay with um, with being with someone who uh, can't give that to you but can give you love uh, affection uh, I feel that this person cares for you deeply then that may be something that that you uh, that you want just just be careful that you're not going towards this person out of loneliness or out of uh, a lack of uh, opportunities that are around you just be careful because I, I feel like this is something that uh, in the long term uh, could be something that that lets you down you know we, we we can go into a situation saying okay well I know I realize that this isn't going to lead to anything stable or secure but I love this person and I want to spend time with them uh, or go down the road of, of having a, a sexual relationship with this person Aries but you have to be really real with with your expectations here and if and if you and if you put on an act, if you pretend that this is okay with you when it's not, you know, you, the tower here can it can lead to something um, that can be quite brutal for you, and could potentially blow up this person's uh, their their own relationship. So th this has caution written all over it, Aries. Um, and I'm going to have to leave it there. So I wish you all the very best with this. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me. My email address is gypsyinsights at uh, gmail.com. Or you can go to my Etsy store. The link is down below. Please do take a moment to press that thumbs up. Share me on your social media, especially if you know an Aries that's dealing with this situation. And if you're a newcomer, I would love to have you subscribe. Yeah, I feel that this person is going to come forward. And they're going to say that they that they they may even say they love you. They they're certainly going to say they care for you a lot. But the thing is, this person is attached. They've got no intention of leaving that person. So um, you know, tread carefully, guys. I wish you all the very best. Please do take care, and bye for now, Aries.